Greetings gamers everywhere, I'm Swift92 and I finally got it home! <clears throat> My little Astrobot... What was it called again? Nendroid! Or Nen... Nenduroid. Nendoroid! Right, that's the name. Astrobot Nendoroid. <clears throat> it's basically Astrobot from PlayStation, the VR Playroom or Astrobot Rescue Mission. God, I hope they do a sequel of that one. I'm guessing that will come to PSVR 2, but... Oh well. I still love to see a sequel of that game. Best, one of the best PlayStation VR games out there, or I would even say the best play PlayStation VR game there. There is. Not necessarily the best VR game, but the best PlayStation VR game. No problem there. Now, this is basically the little uh, main character, Astrobot, with uh, detachable parts that you can switch, uh, switch around and uh, uh, change the hands, uh, the face can be removed and changed into different shapes or emotions, I guess you could call it. Now, there are also these uh, small canisters that are in the game that you can also place around the character, which you can then like stand and look at and such things. Now, this one, I was, I ordered this, I pre-ordered this uh, many months ago. Uh, I believe it was in the summer, 20, summer 2022, somewhere around there. And it was supposed to ship in December. But, uh, well, it was shipped late January instead. Now, uh, I'm fine with that. It's really nice. The quality of it is really good. At least, I think so. And, well, I can't really complain about this thing. Now, the only thing I guess I could complain about is that you can't... Or can you maybe place it... Nope, it can't stand on its own. But you can change around the this little thing so you can place him on different parts of the shall we call it I don't know uh, his pedals pedestal. And you can also change around these different parts as well. There we go. I am really surprised at the quality of this, actually. Uh, it's really good. It, it, it feels... everything is plastic, including this coin, which is the most disappointing thing. That's just plastic and not a metal piece. It, I mean, aluminum would have been really cheap to make it out of. But I'm fine with that. Now, we can also change out the hands here. Though, there is one piece, or I, I should say two pieces that I don't really get. Why do we have... Why do I have an extra foot? And why... What is this piece? This little white piece with the... White ball and a stick through it, basically. I don't, I'm not sure what this is for. I mean, you don't seem to be able to bend it anyway, and it seems stiff. There's a smiley face on it for some reason. I don't get it. Can it? No, it doesn't fit in the hand. I'm guessing you can maybe fit it here. Seems to be too big for the platform. So, I have no clue for that one. And I gotta say, how do you... Oh, I took that whole thing off. Right, uh, let's do this. Change out his hand like that. And you can also change the face for with different... So we're gonna we could, for example, change out the... 
Now I am a bit worried every, every time I change face that I might break it, but so far so good. Now the most surprising thing is this. The head is not hollow. You remove the face and there's a basically a black screen there, so that's nice. I do like that. I'm still not sure what this arrow face is supposed to be. Oh well. It's easy enough to change out the pieces and if you like to position it in different ways. Now what I do appreciate as well is the cape that they have, but it feels a bit smaller than it, than it is in the game. Plus this one is transparent, which I'm not sure it is in the game. I believe it's like almost a dark blue color in the game. So why they went with a transparent color here beats me. But there we are. Ah. Now I won't say it's the easiest thing to change, but yeah, there we are. There's also this piece for another transparent arm that you can attach to this thing. I don't know why you want to attach things to this and place it here, honestly. But it's there. I mean, there's not, there isn't much to say about it. It's a really good. Uh, I did it. I bought it from a shop called Good Smile or Good Smile Shop or something. It cost me about uh, fifty-five, sixty dollars. Uh, Somewhere around there, so I would say it was worth it actually. It's a really nice figure. It's not very big, only about three inches maybe. So yeah, it's not the biggest statue I have or figure, but it's really nice, de nicely detailed. It has some beautiful, beautiful like designs, design to it and details. And I love being able to switch around the different parts of it, even though I imagine I won't be doing that much, I tend to leave them as is. Now the packaging, well, really good packaging, I can easily fit everything back into it and just close it up like that and not worrying about losing that. This, it also came with an instruction manual, but that still didn't explain what that little white thing was. Even, is it even on this paper? Huh! Oh, there it is. Q. Okay. But where's the Q thing? Does it show where to place a Q thing? Not that I can see. Okay, there we go. It's not for anything, I guess. All right. Well, that's that, I guess. I've been Swipe 92. Have a great life, and I hope to see you videos. Bye bye. Bye. God, I love this little cat guy. Let's see if we can't... Maybe if I put that there.